I'm Chantelle Plowman, and you are watching Wild Wednesday TV. We are Women Igniting Life Streams. This is the third video in my four-part series on shifting from low gear to high gear. I started the series by saying that sometimes I find that things in my life can be going along great, and then something happens to throw me off course. Anything that takes me out of my good routines can set me back into low gear, and it's hard to regain my momentum. So I wanted to share with you four different simple ideas that I use to help myself shift back into high gear. And I started with the simple idea of getting outside and going into nature. It's an easy way to shift to a more positive mindset. My next idea was to do something that brings you joy and make sure it's something that you feel good about while you're doing it as well as after you've done it. And the third idea and the focus of this video is to find inspiration. I'm sitting in my room where I've created a space for objects that have meaning to me, some of my favorite inspirational books and my journals. If I'm in need of inspiration, I come here and I know I will find something that will speak to me and get me excited about life. Sometimes I'll pick up a book and flip to a random page and see what shows up. And it's amazing to me that I often find a passage or chapter that seems to be the right thing for what I'm experiencing. And if it doesn't, I try another book. Another option is to take some time with my journal. I love journaling because really it's a conversation with my higher self. Journaling allows me to access wisdom that sometimes I don't even realize I have. It also allows me to be more aware of what I'm feeling and what I want to create in my life. And you don't have to be a writer to journal. You just need to write and write whatever thought comes up for you and keep following it. If you find it challenging, you could start with a prompt. A great prompt to try is to start with this sentence. It would be great if, and see what comes up. See how many things you can come up with. Don't screen your answers. Even if they sound silly, just write them down. The faster you do this, the more you get out of your head and tap into your subconscious. It's a great way to reach into your intuition. If you really don't want to try journaling, you could try talking out loud. It's not as crazy as it sounds. If it makes you feel less crazy, you could record your voice or video yourself and see what comes up. And then you can erase it afterwards. Another great source of inspiration can come from looking on the internet. The only problem with this is there is so much information available. It's hard to know where to begin. I have some favorite blogs, YouTube channels, and videos that I subscribe to, so my inbox is always filled with inspiration. So that's one place to start. And another place is to find someone you, and if you do find someone you like, find other blogs and videos that are similar in content to check out as well. And you can ask your friends if there are any people, blogs, videos that they would recommend. I know for myself that if I hear about a book or a video or a website that sounds interesting, I make note of it. If I hear about it a second time, then I know I have to check it out. And if it comes up a third time, then I know it's an absolute must. So pay attention to the things that inspire the people around you and what shows up. Once you start looking for inspiration, it's amazing how many things will come your way. Now, I would love to hear from you. So we've talked about finding inspiration. What's one way that you find inspiration? If you can't think of anything, try one of my suggestions and let us know how it turns out. Leave us a comment below and let us know. And join us at our after party at womenignitinglifestreams.com where all the best conversations happen. Go to our media tab and comment below this video. And when you're there, if you're not already, be sure to subscribe and be the wild woman you already are inside. Thanks.